Well, the Jets have been monitoring the Tyron Smith situation ever since free agency began. They didn't originally think they were going to be able to sign him. That changed when his market didn't materialize as expected. Tyron Smith, he is headed to the Jets, and it completes their offensive line. It now reads from left to right, Smith the former All-Pro, John Simpson, the former Baltimore Raven, Joe Tittman in the middle, then Elijah Vera Tucker and Morgan Moses, whom the Jets brought back via trade. That group, when healthy, could be among the best in the NFL. Key words, though, when healthy, because that is a legitimate concern with this grouping, specifically with Smith. There is no denying what he's capable of doing when on the field. Just look at his production last year. 80.3 pro football focus grade, a 6.5 pressure rate per next-gen stats. Those are elite for a player who is 32, 33 years old. But Smith has missed 17 games the last two years, 35 games over the last four, and has not played a full season since 2015. That is concerning when there are also injury concerns with Elijah Vera Tucker at right guard and Morgan Moses, who missed some games games for the Baltimore Ravens down the stretch. Again, these are risks that the Jets are willing to take because in totality, this group, with its max potential, it is again one of the best in the league, but those durability issues, it's going to be something to monitor moving forward. This Tyron Smith addition for the New York Jets isn't just big because it completes their offensive line, uh, but it also opens up so many possibilities for Joe Douglas as it pertains to the NFL draft. Think about what the Jets looked like before they signed Smith. Uh, they were going to go into the draft essentially needing to take an offensive tackle at number 10. That's fine if someone like Joe Alt, uh, Olu Fashano, or the kid from Oregon State falls to them. But if all three tackles are off the board, like what happened to the Jets last year, well, what happens? What, what are they going to do at left tackle? Are they going to go with Carter Warren? No. Now with Tyron Smith, they have the ability to go so many different directions. They can go receiver if someone falls to them. They can go with Brock Bowers, the, the stud tight end out of Georgia. Or they could still go with an offensive tackle, have that player sit behind Tyron Smith for a year, learn from an all-pro, or step in if there were injury issues to Smith or Morgan Moses on the other side. Essentially what the Jets did was they immediately improved their current present situation, but they also opened up so many opportunities here for the draft. Now they are not pigeonholed into one position. They truly can take the best player available, the best player available to help them this coming year.